something like that could work probably. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But this is, where's this at? Where's the well, ground plane? The ground plane is like right there on top of all well, that seawall. The great majority of the buildings in the world have nothing to do with architects. And we see people moving to cities and building houses without permission and without money and with found materials. And I just got really empowered and energized by that, that they thought architecture was important. Somebody moves to a city and they're poor, among the first things they do is find or create a shelter for themselves. And I thought, man, that's amazing, actually. The trip to South Asia on the second Cap Asia trip was very, um, very challenging for me. I saw uh, uh, lives in poverty and pain. This is what I call like leftover spaces, leftover materials, leftover people. There's a flip side to leftovers, which is really great. What we also see there is people determined to live life. You know, people who are making their way every day. So we're taking things that we're all very familiar with and using them in ways that we've not imagined them ever working before. But there are ways that um, replicate things that we think we're much more confident about, like a brick or a concrete block or a piece of steel. And um, I think the fact is we don't know very much about those things either. We need to start looking at ourselves and saying, what are we going to do as people, citizens, residents, voters, architects? My role is to be a catalyst. For me, it's becoming more aware. And then if someone wants to think that I might be able to help them with something, then I'll be ready to do some action alongside them. When I do work in timber pallets, some architects have said to me, well, you need to tell the people how to make a, a pallet that you can use as an architect. And I say, no, I want the pallet people to make the perfect pallet for them, and then I'll deal with that, You'll because that's what I'm good at. We're playing here in a way, and this is what I would call serious fun. But the fact of the matter is, this may empower other students of architecture to rebel and maybe inspire other architecture professors to be part of a revolution. I'm always looking for projects, a project in the world, a project in the United States, and a project in Indiana. And then I look for another one in the world, and in the United States, and in Indiana. This is what Olin Dodson calls the fourth world third world conditions in the first world. I've seen a little shack built out of refrigerators in South Muncie, okay? It's here. We know that the planet's in trouble. We know that our profession is somehow paying a little bit of attention to that, but maybe not enough, right? Um, you need to be part of the revolution.